this kind of things happen to us by design. And when you arrive to a higher level of consciousness, as your consciousness is expanding and your mind is opening up and you start to get the reins on your mind and you start to master your mind, you begin to see and change your position from being a victim to victor. And gradually you begin to see that this was everything that happened to you happened out of love. And when you go further, deeper in your own consciousness, you begin to see that the Spirit, God, the Spirit, God, Her Majesty, Beloved, the Creator, Yahweh, Krishna, Christ, any name you would like to give it, you choose the name was behind the whole story. So all the trauma you went through, all the misery you experienced, all the hardship you went through was God's will. It was the Spirit who willed it. So we can, as we become more awake, we cannot blame human beings or circumstances for what has happened to us because we get to see your third eye is opening up and you begin to see that it was God who wanted this to happen to you. And it all happened to you because of love and compassion to help you to wake up. To wake up to something much more meaningful and deeper than what appears to be, what it looks to be. And waking you up from this deep sleep, deep coma that majority of the people on this planet are in that state, even today, even in this dawn of the era of awakening, and we're in the very dawn of it, the age of Aquarian, a lot of people are still asleep and sleepwalking. So, a lot of times, as I mentioned, everything starts with some kind of shock, some shock treatment of whatever is the story. Maybe you're very much invested into real estate or stock market or whatever, and your investments go sour or your partner cheats you and then you fall off the grace. Um, Whatever is the story. Or maybe you're a spiritual teacher and you fall off the grace. Uh, you're an actor, you're a singer, you're a politician and you fall off the grace. Because there's something you need to learn about life, about yourself. So this happens all the time and is a part of the path. Now what happens is after you are being pulled after your shock treatment, again, I'm not saying that every single person on the planet who comes to the awakening goes through. I didn't say it's 100% the case. 
because some of you may come and tell me, well, that wasn't my story. So I'm generalizing things. Uh, there are some awakened beings that they didn't have to go through that, but that's very, very rare. So what happens is you begin to ask questions. Your questions are you're seeking the meaning of life because you're suffering within and quite often it happens with reading a spiritual book uh, somebody gives you a spiritual book or invites you to meditation or one thing leads to another and you begin to question things and dig deeper and start looking at the meaning of life and as you go forward what happens is there is a honeymoon period that the self the presence the power God the beloved begin to show herself to you begin you begin to have some spiritual experiences and your third eye is opening up to it's getting it's opening up the pineal gland begins to produce some dmt and you get you get into the groove and you're getting the juice and your spiritual experiences could be very profound profound you may have an encounter with an angelic realms of different angels show up or maybe you have some trans-dimensional beings appearing to you. Uh, the Buddha shows up to you, Christ shows up to you, Krishna or Saint Germain or whatever is you're getting downloads or you're being seeing entities or they're touching you or they're talking to you or you have these profound experiences of oneness. So, you will go through your honeymoon phase with God. But then, the honeymoon ends. <laughs> like all honeymoons. <laughs> Like, like all honeymoons end. <laughs> Your honeymoon with God ends too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop laughing because <laughs> and it's very 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 painful period because <laughs> the uh, honeymoon ends and now you're bewildered you're lost and you're doing whatever it, it takes because you want these spiritual experiences you want to get back in the groove and get back into the juice and receive the love of God so it, that was a carrot. It was a carrot put in front of you because they're pulling you in. They're just re reeling, reeling you in. So because you haven't done the work in that way. You have done the work in so many different ways. You know, there's everything is and is not. Everything is this way and that way simultaneously. You have done the work previously in past lives and you have come to this point. So there is a level of maturity and readiness, but this phase, which could be your last phase, is a different story. <laughs> 